Welcome to your practice. We are going to start today's class lying on your back. So when you're ready, coming to easy seat, grab the backs of your legs and simply roll down one vertebra at a time until your head gently lands on the mat. So let's keep our knees pointing up towards the sky to take some pressure off the small of our back. And maybe float your right hand over your belly and your left hand over your heart. And we're going to take a few rounds of box breathing. So at any point you feel distressed in your breath or you feel numbness or tingling, just resume a normal breath. But what we're going to do is take a few moments. We're going to cycle the breath in through the nose for four seconds. So gently begin to inhale one, two, three, four, and then hold the breath one, two, three, four. Release out one, two, three, four, and then hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Release the breath. One, two, three, four, and hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four, and hold one, two, three, four, release one, two, three, four, and hold one, two, three, four, inhale one, two, three, four, and hold one, two, three, four, exhale one, two, three, four, and then hold the breath, one, two, three, four. One more round, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, and then hold the breath, one, two, three, Four. Good. Take a deep breath in. Stretch the arms and legs out long. Take a deep breath out. Good. And begin to reach the hands up high to the sky. Palms face down as the arms come to a T shape. As you exhale, lift your right foot up to the sky. Inhale, lower your right foot over to the left edge of your mat. As you exhale, use the strength of your core to lift your foot back up high into the sky. And then inhale, lower your right foot down. Exhale, lift left foot high. Inhale, reach left foot over to the right edge of the mat. As you exhale, use your core to lift your left foot back up high to the sky and lower your left heel down. Good. Exhale, lift your right foot up high. Keep the shoulder blades down. Inhale, right foot reaches to the left edge of the mat. As we exhale, come back to center. Good. Inhale, lowers the right heel to the earth. Exhale, draws the left foot high to the sky. Inhale, twist over to the right. Keep that left shoulder blade grounded. Exhale, lift your left foot back up high. And then inhale, lower your heel down. Exhale, lift right foot high. Inhale, twist, grounding the right shoulder blade. Exhale, come back to center and inhale, lower your heel down. So moving one breath in, one breath out. Exhale, left foot high. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, lift that foot back up high to the sky, engage the core, and inhale, lower that left heel. This time, reach your right foot up high to the sky. Reach your right hand up towards the right foot, bending that right knee and grabbing somewhere. So whether it's the foot, the shin, maybe even just the knee, Begin to take the knee out a little bit wider than the shoulder. It's almost like a half happy baby. You could even take your peace fingers to the big toe or just simply grab the pinky toe edge of that foot. Extend that left leg long if you can. Bend it if you need a little support on the back. Good. Let the weight of the leg and the weight of the arm just pull that knee down. Then begin to lift that foot back up high to the sky, release, and then we're gonna switch sides. So left foot up high, reach left hand high, grabbing knee, shin, or left foot, or peace fingers to the big toe, whatever feels good to you. This is Yogi's choice. Extend that right heel long, and then maybe bend it if you need a little support on the back, but 
Again, just weighting that knee a little bit wider than that left shoulder. Feel a nice passive stretch here. Nothing too intense on the body just yet. We're just getting started. Good, take one more breath in, and then as we exhale, we'll gently release that foot back to the mat. So we're gonna re-bend our knees so that our feet are planted onto the earth. And all I want you to do is just lower your knees out so that we're in a reclined butterfly pose, and then use the strength of your inner thigh to bring your knees back together. Lowering the knees down, and then like magnets, pulling the knees strong back together. Lower knees down slowly, maybe bottoms of the feet come to touch, and then as feet plant, knees come back to touch. Lower back down, and then draw knees back in. At the same time, keeping that low back planted to the earth, so don't let the low back pop up off the mat. Use the core. Good. Keep moving those knees in and out. Little butterfly pulses. Good. Super gentle in the hips, but starting to really feel that inner thigh warm up. These are harder than they look. Good. And we'll take one more here. Opening and then gently closing. Good. Bring your heels a little closer to your sits bones. Place your hands right by your side. Rock up onto the shoulders just a little bit more. Press strong into your feet and arms and lift up into a bridge. Exhale, slowly roll one vertebra at a time until your tailbone comes down last. Inhale, push the hips up high for a bridge, and then exhale, roll one vertebra at a time all the way down. Inhale, push hips up high. Exhale, softly roll. Good. Inhale, push hips up high. Exhale, softly roll. And then on our last one, we're going to push our hips up high and hold here. Good. Maybe rock up onto the shoulders, interlace all 10 fingers, and then extend the knuckles towards your heels. We could stay here or we're going to draw our right knee into our chest. Now that knee can just stay to chest or we can kick the right heel up high, focusing on keeping the hips level. We'll take a few rounds of breath, holding this one-legged bridge. Good. Rebend the knee, plant your right foot down, stay strong, pull your left knee into the chest. Stay there or kick your left heel up high to the sky and take a few rounds of breath. Breathing through a little bit of intensity here. Good, hips stay level, engage the hamstrings and glutes, re-bend the left knee, place left foot on the mat, unclasp the hands one vertebra at a time, rolls you back to your mat. Very good. Heel toe the feet to the edges of your mat and drop your knees in. Let the hands rest where they feel most natural. For me, that's on my belly. Good. Focus in on the breath. Maybe eyes have stayed closed this entire time. Just enjoy the slow warm up here. Good. Heel toe feet back together. So coming into Supta Baddha Konasana Recline Butterfly, place your hands by your side. So we're going to take like a funky bridge. Push into the pinky toe edges of your feet as you lift your hips up with your knees wide. And then softly sink your bum back to the mat. Push hips up high and softly sink your bum back down. Good. Push hips up high and softly roll all the way back down. It's a little bit harder to do one vertebra at a time, but try to see if you can get segmental in the spine. Good. One more time. Push hips up high and slowly lower all the way back down to the mat. Good. We'll pull the knees back towards one another. Hug knees into chest. Grab the backs of your legs and begin to rock and roll. So rocking up and rocking back, massage the spine. If this feels a little too weird and funky for you, just stay on your back. Good. And then we're actually gonna just roll right back down onto our back, hug knees into your chest, hug forehead to the knees, and then extend your feet out long, but keep your head and shoulders lifted for a low boat. Good, maybe knees have to stay really bent here, or they can extend out long, whatever feels best on your back. As we exhale, I want you to come up to a high boat, Good. Keep the back nice and long. Inhale, hold. And exhale, come to low boat and hold. We'll take a few rounds of breath, moving nice and slow. And then exhale, come back up into high boat. Good. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale, low boat. Good. Hold here for a few rounds of breath. Breathe through the intensity. And then exhale, come back up to high boat. Good. We'll grab the backs of the legs, we'll cross the ankles, and then we're going to just come into hands and knees when you're ready. Take your time. Good. 
So spread fingers wide, coming into a little tabletop. Neck is long, back is long. Inhale, pull the heart forward, drop down into a cow pose. And then exhale, round the chin to the chest, tuck your tailbone, cat pose. Inhale, roll, open, sweep into cow. Exhale, crunch, tuck into cat. Good, one more. Inhale, open the heart, extend the front body long. And then as we exhale, expand through the back body, pull the heart to the sky. Good, so coming to the neutral spine, we'll spread fingers wide. We're gonna lift up onto just the toes so the knees are up off the mat. And then we're gonna begin to draw our left knee towards our nose and use the strength of the core to hold you there. As we do so, we're going to begin to roll the right heel down to the mat, reach your right hand to the sky, kick your left foot out and sink it to the mat, sink your bum to the earth, and then as we open the right hip a little bit wider, we're gonna reach across for the pinky toe edge of that left foot. Let the forehead rest down as you roll onto the pinky toe edge of your right foot, open that inner thigh, good. Reach your right hand back up high to the sky, plant strong into your left arm, and then open the heart, push your hips up high to the sky, keeping that left leg long into a wild thing. Good. We're gonna do this a couple of times. Sink the hips back to the mat, lift your left foot up using that inner thigh, Pull the knee to your chest, plant your right hand back down, come back to center, and breathe, reset. Good. Right knee's gonna come into the chest, spin to the left heel. As you kick your right foot out long, reach your left hand to the sky. Right foot sinks to the earth, and so does the bum. Open the heart, expand a little bit longer, and then reach for the pinky toe edge of your right foot. As you're forward folding, you're opening that left knee out a little bit wider. Good. Take one breath in, and then as we exhale, we'll plant that left foot back onto the mat, reach your left hand up high to the sky, press strong into the pinky toe edge of your right foot, and open up into a wild thing. If this feels a little too intense, just keep the seat grounded. Good. So we're going to start to sink the hip low, but don't let it come to the mat. Use the strength of your inner thigh to lift your right foot up off the mat. Pull your right knee to chest, place your left hand to the earth, and find that tabletop position. Inhale, and then exhale, left knee to nose. Pull through, open up, and then sink your left foot down. Good, open the heart, reach to the pinky toe edge of that left foot, open that right knee a little bit wider. Take one breath in, and then as we exhale, we're going to lift up the chest, push the hips open into a wild thing. So kind of finding your own flow here. Take one breath in, and as we exhale, we're gonna sink the hips down, but don't let the foot touch. Reach your right hand to the sky, pull the right foot up off the mat, pull the knee to your chest, and come back to center. Those knees stay lifted. Right knee into your chest, kick the right foot out long. Good, right foot comes to the mat, so does the seat. Open the heart, and then reach for the pinky toe edge of that right foot. Letting that left knee open up a little bit or a lot. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, push strong into the legs, push the hips up high, find a wild thing, grounding into that right hand. Okay. Take one more breath in. As we exhale, pull that right foot up off the mat, pull your knee to chest, place both hands on the mat, toes back on the mat. Good. Take one more breath in, and then exhale, sink your knees to the earth. Untuck the toes, sit back in hero pose, and then drip the fingertips back behind you, maybe palms come flat, Knees squeeze together as you push your hips up high for like a really wide camel pose. Good, open the heart, open the chest. If that's too much, just find a back bend that feels good to you. Good, stretch your hands out long in front of you. Find a little puppy pose here. So letting the chest sink down, the idea is that the chest would hit before the chin. So keep the hips really lifted to the sky, open the shoulders, open the chest. If the chest isn't touching, try to keep the chin from touching. Good, and then we'll take a breath in as we exhale, come back up. And we're gonna come onto our elbows, place your hands in a prayer mudra or hand gesture. Bring your elbows forward and then sink back so you almost feel like traction on your triceps as your thumbs come to the small of your neck getting a nice tricep stretch, lat stretch. Take a few moments here, maybe the forehead's on the ground. And then we'll release the hands back to the mat, coming into child's pose, and then back up to tabletop. Find a modified plank so that our knees are a little bit farther behind the hips. 
Ground strong into the hands, keep your neck long, and then lift up to a high plank if it's in your practice. If this is too intense, just stay on knees for this whole thing. So come to the right elbow and then the left elbow, keep your back long. And then we're gonna plant into your right hand and come back up onto left hand. Good, then sink to your left elbow and then the right elbow. Remember, you can be on knees for this whole thing. And then plant into left hand and then right hand. Sink back down onto right elbow and then left elbow. And then plant into right hand and left hand. Breathe through the intensity. Sink onto left elbow and then right elbow, trying to find minimal movement in the spine. And then plant into left hand and right hand. Take a few moments here to breathe. Sink to your knees. Tuck the toes, reach your right hand up high to the sky and then thread that shoulder underneath the left arm, sinking the right side of your face to the mat. Keep your hips really lifted like we're still in that puppy pose. Feel a great posterior stretch of that right shoulder. Good, and then extend the right hand out high, reach the left hand up high to the sky, look towards that hand and thread the left arm through, dropping the left side of the face to the mat, maybe extend that right hand out a little bit longer. Hips stay lifted, toes stay tucked. And get real passive, use the weight of the body to stretch the shoulder out. Enjoy the stillness and quiet. And then begin to extend that left hand back out long. Come to forearms here, interlace all 10 fingers. So coming into a little forearm plank, we're gonna roll the heels over to the left edge of your mat and reach your right hand up high to the sky. So place the right hand behind the head, open the heart, and then as you exhale, try to touch elbow to elbow. Inhale, open back up. And then knee can be down here if that's too intense. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Good. Knees or toes. Good. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open up one more time. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Open up. Stretch your right hand up high to the sky. Place your right forearm back to the mat and spin your heels off to the right edge of the mat. Knees are toes as the left hand comes up high to the sky. Place your left hand to the back of the head. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open the shoulders. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open. And exhale, elbow to elbow, good. Inhale, open, reach that left hand high. Both forearms come to the mat. Interlace all 10 fingers. Walk your feet forward as you push your head back. We're in a dolphin pose here. So like downward facing dog on our forearms. Take a few moments, try to find a long spine. Bend the knees as much as you need to so that the back is not really arced up. Relax the fingers, don't white knuckle. And then we're gonna lift up onto your heels. Exhale, try to roll your chin over your knuckles. Good, inhale like we're rolling forward to a little plank. Exhale, wave it back, good. Inhale, wave forward. Exhale, wave it back. Inhale, wave forward. Exhale, wave back. And we'll take one more, inhale, wave forward. And exhale, wave back, good. So, Unclasp the hands, expand your arms shoulder width apart, and then pop up onto your hands for downward facing dog. Good, adjust as you need to. Take a few moments of breath here. Feet can stay still or you can walk gently in place, but spread those fingers really wide. If this is too intense and you need to break, just simply find child's pose. Good, way forward to plank wherever you are, lower all the way to the mat, and then tent the fingertips either side of the shoulders, ground your tailbone and big toe mounds down. Inhale, rise up. Maybe arms can come out straight or they stay a little bit bent. Exhale, elbows flare up to the sky. Inhale, wave up into a back bend and exhale, elbows flare up high to the sky. Good, inhale one more time, wave up. Exhale, peel your chest back onto the mat. Good, place your hands by your rib cage, squeeze your elbows in, tuck your toes, knees or toes. Sit up into a plank and then exhale, downward facing dog. 
Take a few moments here to breathe. Big toe mounds come to touch. Lift the right foot up high as we take a breath in. As we exhale, bend your right knee and stack your right hip on top of the left. Open the hips. Ground strong into the right hand. And then place your right foot back onto the mat. Big toe stay touching. Left leg lifts high. Bend the left knee and stack the left hip on top of the right to open the hips. Ground strong into the left hand. Good. Place the left foot back on the mat. Take a breath in. And then as we exhale, sink to your knees. Keep toes tucked, but draw your hands back into hero pose and reach your hands to heart center as we come into kneeling. Place the right hand on the small of the back and then the left hand on the small of the back so the fingertips are facing the sky. Begin to lean back into those hands and open the throat, open the chest. It's a little modified camel. If that still feels okay, maybe you just reach the right hand down to the heel. If you can, we're going to reach the left hand to the heel and then open the chest for a full camel pose. So make sure the back feels happy here. If it doesn't, just keep those hands on the small of the back. Bring the right hand to the heart center, then the left hand to the heart center. Untuck your toes and sit back into hero pose. Good. Start to wrap the left hand on top of the right and then hug your shoulders or maybe find an eagle wrap here if you're familiar with that. No pressure to go there. Hands can just stay wrapping around shoulders, but come up into tall kneeling. Tuck your right toes and then your left toes, and then we're going to pull the right knee towards our chest by shifting the weight onto the left knee. A lot of balance here. Take your time, be patient, and step the right foot forward into a little low lunge. Unwrap the hands. We're going to wrap the right thumb on top of the left. Kind of pull the thumbs apart as they're hooked in and feel an expansion through the shoulders as you lean back into a gentle back bend that squeeze the glutes. Take one more breath in. As we exhale, release the hands either edge of that right foot. Bend that knee deeply. Open the heel, the back of the right ankle, that Achilles tendon. And then we're going to start to expand the right leg into like a little hamstring stretch. So pull your heart forward. Pull your hips squared towards one another. Keep your chest lifted. Maybe the knee stays really bent here, the right knee, or it comes out all the way long whatever feels good to you. Take a breath in as we exhale, re-bend the right knee, lift the back knee up, and then we're gonna keep the left hand planted, reach your right hand to the sky. Start to heel toe your right foot over a little bit more, open the heart, and then place your right elbow inside right knee and maybe try to touch that elbow to the mat. Inhale, open right hand up high to the sky. Elbow comes inside knee and you lean into that stretch a little bit more, good. Exhale, elbow inside knee, reach towards the earth. Inhale, open that heart. Exhale, place that elbow inside the knee, lean down. Good. One more. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, elbow inside knee. Now, place your right hand inside that right inner thigh. Squeeze the right knee to the right tricep for just a moment and then step back into downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Next breath in, waves you forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog if it's in our practice. And then we'll all meet into downward facing dog. Always feel free to come to lower high cobra instead of upward dog. Good, take one breath in. And as we exhale, sink your knees to the mat. Sweep your hands back into hero pose. Hands come to heart center. Use the strength of the quads to lift you up onto your knees for tall kneeling. We're gonna place the left hand to the small of the back, fingertips facing the sky, and the right hand to the small of the back. Good, lean back into the hands, push the hips forward, squeeze your glutes, protect your low back. Stay here, maybe reach your left hand to the left ankle, and then maybe reach the right hand to the right ankle. Roll the shoulders open, let your head drop back into a full camel pose. Remember, if the back does not like this, just keep the hands at the small of the back. Take a few relaxing breaths in and out here. And then we're gonna bring the left hand to heart center, the right hand to heart center. Untuck your toes, sit back hero pose. This time our left hand's gonna reach on top of the right and hug the shoulders. If that eagle wrap is in your practice, go there, pull the elbows up. Wherever you are, come up onto the knees, shift your, or tuck your toes, shift your weight to your right knee as you pull your left knee towards your chest. A little balance challenge here. This is really tough. Gracefully or ungracefully, step that left foot to the top of the mat into a little lunge shape. 
We're gonna unwrap the arms, sweep your hands high to the sky. This time our left thumb will come on top of the right. As we hook the thumbs together, start to pull the thumbs apart as we feel a big stretch in the shoulders here. Palms are just pushed forward. And then take one more breath in, exhale, place hands either side of that left foot. Sink into that left knee deeply. Feel an Achilles tendon stretch, that soleus a little bit lower down by the ankle muscle stretching. Sink into that right hip a little deeper, breathe. So back toes stay tucked as we start to shift the weight to the back heel, we're gonna extend the left leg long. Maybe it stays pretty bent here or maybe it comes all the way out straight wherever you are in your practice and your journey. Good, pull the heart up a little bit higher, magnetize the hips towards one another and keep the fingertips tinted. Take one more breath in as we exhale, re-bend the left knee, lift the back knee up and we're gonna reach our left hand high to the sky, heel toe your left foot to the edge of your mat. Open the heart a little bit wider and then as you exhale, pull your elbow inside the knee, maybe reach down to the ground or maybe just stay hovered. Inhale, open up, elbow comes inside the knee somewhere. Good, inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow inside knee, reaching down. We have two more of these. Inhale, moving at whatever pace feels good to you. Exhale, pulsing down. On this last, we're gonna inhale, open up. Elbow comes inside, knee reach down, and then place your left hand to the mat. So we're in like a plank pose here. We're gonna squeeze our left knee to our left tricep for just a second, and then step back, downward facing dog. We could choose to rest here or take your next vinyasa. Wave your heart forward to plank pose. As we exhale, maybe half or all the way down. Inhale, low high cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, we'll journey back to downward dog. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, prepare your feet, walk, step or float forward. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, good. Peel the chest onto the thighs, maybe grab opposite elbows and let's hang and ragdoll for a moment. Feel free to shake the head yes and no just to make sure that the neck is relaxed and you could stay still or you could simply sway side to side, whatever the body is craving. On your next breath in, find your halfway lift and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your heart up high to the sky, hands come to touch overhead and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find your halfway lift, elongate the heart. Exhale, plant your hands, step into plank pose. Knees or toes, lower half or all the way to the mat. Inhale, low high cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and then as we exhale, sink down into your knees, come to tabletop. Keep the toes tucked, sit your hips back into hero, wrap your right arm on top of the left, find a wrap if you feel comfortable, come up onto the knees, shift your weight to your left knee as you pull the right knee to your chest. Gracefully or ungracefully, step your right foot forward into a lunge. Unwrap the hands, stretch your hands up high to the sky. Place your right thumb on top of the left, pull the thumbs apart as you open the heart, sink back into a light back bend. And then we'll take one more breath in, exhale, place hands either edge of that right foot, elongate the right leg into a folded triangle pose. Wave your heart out long like you're in a halfway lift and then exhale, fold a little deeper over that right kneecap. Hands could come to blocks here if you need a little support. On your next breath in, bend your right knee, drop your left heel to the mat, keep your right hand grounded and circle the left hand to the sky. As we exhale, come up into warrior two, pushing that right knee towards the right edge of your mat. Look over your right middle finger. Find your breath. And as we exhale, we're going to extend the right leg, pull your toes to the left edge of your mat. Your heels come in a little bit. Hands reach up high and then exhale, pulse into goddess pose. Arms reach up high, knees flare wide, elbows into like field goal arms. Inhale, reach hands high, exhale, pulse down. Good, push the air away from you and place your hands on the thighs. Arc up just a little bit and then as you drop your right shoulder down, look over the left shoulder and sink into this. 
Good, almost cat the back up and then sink into that left shoulder as you look over the right shoulder. Good, arc the back up, press into the right hand as you look over the left shoulder, arc up and then press into the left hand as you look over the right shoulder. Good, come back to neutral. And as we take a breath in, we're going to reach our hands up high, pull your toes towards the left edge of your mat. We're going to interlace all 10 fingers back behind you, open the heart, bend your knees a little bit or a lot, and then forward fold. So maybe the heels even come a little bit wider than the toes. Let your forehead drop down towards the earth. Take one more breath in as we exhale, grab opposite elbows and hang in a rag doll. Good. Take one more breath in here. Shake the head yes, shake it no, and then release the hands down to the mats. We're gonna walk our hands over to our left foot by bending both knees deeply. Keep your right hand planted down, but take your left hand to your waist. That left knee is still really bent as we look over our left shoulder, maybe look up to the sky as we stretch our right leg out long. So maybe that left hand can even reach up high to the sky so that shoulders are stacked on top of one another. Good. Maybe from there we take the top of the left hand to that right hip or the small of the back. And then from there, keeping the back long, see if you can straighten the left leg out. Listen to your body. Don't force yourself into a shape it doesn't want to go into. Left hand reaches back up high to the sky. Place both hands on the mat. Walk yourself to your front foot. Right toes are now centered to the front of the mat. Back heel is grounded down. Place your right hand on your shin as you reach your left hand up high to the sky for Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Right hand can come to the earth or maybe it can start to reach back for more of a core challenge. Wherever you are, reach your left hand overhead long and maybe see if you can reach your right head over head long like you're holding a beach ball between your hands. Lots of core strength here. Keep the hand grounded if you need a little more support. Good. Use the strength of the core to lift you up. Rebend into warrior two. Lightly place your left hand on the back thigh. Reach your right hand up and back for a reverse warrior. And then gently cartwheel the hands down either edge of your right foot. Spin your back heel up. Reach your right hand to the sky. Opening that right outer hip in this revolved side angle, start to spin to the pinky toe edges of our feet. Come into a modified or full side plank, maybe even flip the dog if that feels good to you. We're only here for a moment or two, so just find a place that feels good to you. Spot the top of the mat, come back into a plank pose. Choose to take your next vinyasa, lowering down. Lift into your back bend and exhale, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to gently sink down into our knees, find a hero pose. So toes stay tucked, hips sink back to heels. We're going to cross our left hand on top of our right here. Wrap shoulders or find an eagle wrap with the arms. Good. Lift up onto the knees. Shift your weight into your right knee as you pull your left knee to your chest. Find a little balance challenge here. Move slow motion softly as you can. Plant your left foot forward into a lunge. Good. Open the chest a little bit higher. Take one more breath in as we exhale, release. Place the left thumb on top of the right as hands come high to the sky. Pull your hands apart, spread the shoulders wide, sink into a little back bend. Squeeze the glutes, protect the back, and then as we exhale, we'll plant our hands either edge of our left foot. Just sink into the stretch for just a moment. Pull your heart forward. Feel that right hip flexor opening. As we exhale, begin to elongate both legs into a folded triangle pose. Wave your heart out long and then fold a little deeper. So depending on your flexibility, this right heel may be popped up a little bit or it may be grounded. On our next breath in, we'll rebend that left knee. We're gonna spin our right heel to the mat and keep our left hand grounded, but reach our right hand to the sky and circle in to a warrior two. So that left knee is spinning towards the left edge of our mat so that we feel that hip engage. Look over your front middle finger. Take a breath in, sink a little lower, and as we exhale, we're going to begin to elongate that left leg. So toes point to the right edge of our mat, heels drop in, goddess arms pulse you down. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, goddess arms pulse you down. Reaching up high. 
and exhale, pulse. Now push the air away from you, strong with the hands. Place your hands to your knees. Inhale, kind of cat the back up and exhale, sink your right shoulder blade down. Look over to the left. Inhale, cat the back and then exhale, drop left shoulder blade down, look over right. Inhale, round up, exhale, twist right shoulder blade down. Inhale, cat the back, exhale, left shoulder blade down. Good. Inhale back to center, exhale, push the hips low, pull your heart up. Sweep your hands up high, toes come in, clasp hands behind you, soften your knees. Extend your knuckles down towards the ground and then forward fold. So maybe the hands are on the small of the back or maybe they're coming away from the back. Just whatever feels good on those shoulder blades. Knees could be slightly bent here if this is a lot. And then as we exhale, we'll gently release the hands, find little ragdoll arms grabbing opposite elbows. Maybe shake the head yes, shake it no. Relax the neck. And then we're going to release the hands, bend the knees a little bit deeper, and we're going to walk our hands back towards that right foot. So bend the right knee a lot and keep your left hand grounded. Reach your right hand to your waist and spin your heart open. So prioritize the back staying nice and long over the legs coming straight. If that feels good, stack shoulder blades on top of each other by reaching the right hand up high to the sky. Maybe even explore with taking the top of your right hand into the small of the back or the hip or maybe even clasping that left thigh. Open the heart a little bit longer, see if you can extend that right leg out. A big, huge opening of the outer right leg. Reach that right hand back to the sky. Place your hands on the mat. Walk yourself to the front left leg. So left toes are pointed towards the front of your mat. Extend your left leg out long. Back heel is grounded down. Maybe that left hand is on the shin or the floor coming into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Or maybe that hand's lifted for more of a challenge. But wherever you are, reach your right head, hand over head long. You could stay right there or more of a core challenge. Reach your left hand out long like you're holding a beach ball here. Really tap into the core, come back up into standing, and then bend into warrior two. That is intense, so breathe through that. Good. Lightly place your right hand on the back thigh as you extend your left hand up into the air and back into a reverse warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands either edge of your left foot. Back heel lifts. Keep the right hand grounded. Reach your left hand to the sky. Open that hip. Spin to the pinky toe edges of our feet. Find a modified side plank or a full side plank. Stay here or maybe even come into wild thing. Open the heart by bringing that left foot back behind you just a little bit. Keep the right leg long. And then wherever you are, we're coming into a plank pose. So knees or toes. Taking our next vinyasa, lower half or all the way to the mat. Inhale, low high cobra or upward dog. And then exhale, we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath in, maybe sigh out the mouth. Good, and then when you are ready, we are gently going to meet in child's pose. Good, arms can come where they feel most comfortable, knees can stay spread wide or they can stay closed. Just find a nice relaxed position here. And then when you're ready, we'll gently find easy seat. So I am going to face you, but you can just stay right where you are on your mat, but just coming to easy seats. We will come into bound angle pose by placing the bottoms of the feet to touch. Maybe we grab the toes, the shins, or maybe the hands support back behind you. Just find a place that feels good to you. You could even take a blanket under the hips here. But we're going to move into compass pose and then eight angle pose or attempt to. So we're going to place the right foot into our left hand and the right knee into our right hand. If that still feels okay, we're going to place the knee and the pinky toe edge of the foot into the elbow creases. Wherever you are, pull the shin towards you a little bit closer and try to rock back and forth. So predominantly we're grounded down with our left leg. And if that feels insane, we can just stay low here. But if that feels okay, we're gonna rock back and forth. Maybe that right sits bones coming up and off the mat just a little bit. And we could stay right here. This could be the end of our journey today and this could be really intense for you. 
If we feel pretty good here, we're going to grab the pinky toe edge of that foot with our left hand and then try to make this right leg like a backpack strap. Get as high as you can up on that right shoulder and then place your right hand down to the side. So kind of hook that elbow in and back. Okay. Now that hand's going to stay grounded. That right hand's going to stay grounded and we're going to try to reach for the toes of our right foot and start to see an opportunity to peek your head through this little hole. So here are our boom compass pose as we extend the right leg long. If we still feel great here, we're going to pick that right hand up and see if we can balance on our left side. There's no pressure to go here. This is just like a full expression of this pose. Good. Take a few breaths. Pause the video. Work through this one. It is intense. It took me a little while to get this one myself. When you're ready, if it's not already there, place the right hand back to the mat. Keep that right leg up high on that right shoulder. Now, find chaturanga arms. Our elbows are going to squeeze towards our body. Our left foot's going to come on top of the right ankle, and we're going to try to lift our bum up off the mat. Good. So coming to eight angle pose, we're going to spread our fingers wide, lift up, maybe expand the legs long, and then drop your head forward into like a chaturanga and kick those heels out to the right. Good. Return back to easy seat when you're ready. So that is a super fun and funky pose. Like I said, take time, pause the video, go back and try to see if we can get you flying today. Good. If you are ready, we're going to just simply forward fold into our bound angle pose. Good. I love playful arm balances. It's not everything in yoga, but it is a super fun part of it to me. If it's frustrating for you, just find any variation that feels good to you and work through it or just stay grounded. That is totally fine as well. Let's bring the knees back up, place your feet on the floor, fingertips facing the front of your mat, open your chest, but their hands are back behind you. Lift your seat up into a little reverse tabletop, just to counter stretch what we just did. Take a breath in. And then as we exhale, we'll sink our hips back to the mat. Good. We're going to come back into a bound angle pose and we're going to do that on the other side. So maybe this is your good side. Sometimes I have one side that's strong and one side that's uh, a work in progress. Uh, but we're going to pull that foot and knee towards you. Up to you whether you hook into the elbow creases or not, but just start to rock side to side wherever you are. Ground into your right side and just enjoy the process. So like I said, just stay here and hang out and just enjoy the moments on your mat. If you want to get a little playful here, we're going to grab the pinky toe edge of that left foot and hook your left shoulder up underneath your knee crease. So get your knee up as high as you can on your shoulder. The higher up, the better. And then hook that left elbow back and in to that thigh. Ground your left hand down. Now we're going to start to spin the palm to the toes and start to see an opportunity to lean forward and look underneath that right shoulder. So poking your head through, maybe expand that left leg out long, stay there, or come to like a balance ch challenge in compass pose by lifting the left hand up off the mat. Keep opening the heart, huge side waist opener, huge hamstring opener, breathe through it. And when you are ready, we'll place that left hand back on the mat. Keep the left knee up high on the shoulder. Good. Hook that elbow in and place your right hand underneath your right shoulder. So squeeze your elbows in and you can kind of push onto that right foot to help lift your seat up. I forgot to mention that last, um, last side, but you can use that foot to help give you like that leverage system. Good. You can play there or maybe stack your right ankle on top of your left and then try to lift your seat up using your core. So as your head comes forward, your seat comes up and then maybe expand your legs out to the left and then sink into those chaturanga arms for eight angle pose. Good. Keep breathing here. Kick those heels out and then as you exhale, return to easy seat. So super, super fun. I love that pose. Uh, take your time, play with it. No pressure to go there, but I have found that that is one of my favorite ways to get into that pose. 
So I'm just moving so you can see from the side, but I'm gonna grab my shins and bound angle and kind of lean back so it's like a little traction on the upper back and neck. Now we don't wanna overstretch these muscles in our neck, but just that kind of decompression on the spine can feel kind of nice. So just hold the shins and lean back if it feels good to you. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring our knees to close and roll one vertebra down at a time, almost like just exactly how we began our practice, let your head drop to the mat. Hug your right knee to your chest, expand your left leg out long. Reach your right arm to a half T shape and then roll into a spinal twist by bringing that right knee to the left edge of your mat. Look to your right palm and then maybe close the eyes and sink into the earth. Good, take one more breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll gently come back onto your back. Place your right foot down, bring your left knee up. As you expand your right leg out long, bring your left knee to chest. Left arm opens out to a half T as our left knee rolls to the right edge of our mat. Maybe softly take your gaze over to the left palm and close your eyes. Sink deeply into the earth. Let this be very passive and relaxed, not forcing a shape. Starting to cool down. And then we'll come back to center, place both hands on the mat. So we're going to finish with two back bends. The first one, we're all gonna take a bridge pose here. So hands by your sides, press strong into your feet and lift your hips up. Yogi's choice, you can rock up onto the shoulders and clasp hands up underneath you. Push your hips up a little bit higher. Take a few moments to breathe here. Squeeze your knees in, don't let them splay out. And then as we exhale, we'll unclasp the hands, roll gently one vertebra down at a time. Stay here for a few moments. Good. Maybe doing a few pelvic tilts, just tucking your tailbone underneath you one, two, and three times. Good. So we're going to come into one more back bend. If full wheel is in your practice, we'll place our hands by our ears. If not, just come back into a bridge pose. Good, we'll begin to prepare, prop them up onto the top of the head for just a moment and then expand all the way into a full wheel. Same thing here, begin to squeeze your knees towards one another wherever you are. Breathe strong into your back. And then when you're ready, exhale one vertebra at a time, rolls you back down. Good. So we're all on the mat here. We're gonna gently bring your knees into your chest. We're gonna just take little rolls or rocks, massage the low back out. And from here, you could take any pose that you may be craving or that you might need. But when you're ready, we're gonna to come to a very short Shavasana, being mindful of the time, but also taking a moment to receive the benefits of our practice. So for just a few moments of your day, we'll lay here in stillness and quiet, stretch the feet out long, let the arms open up beside you, palms facing up in a sign of receiving, receiving the benefits of your practice. And then we'll gently begin to stretch our arms overhead long, expand through your toes, take a big breath in. As we exhale, we'll roll to the right side of our body. And we'll take a moment just to celebrate the good things in your life. Find a space and a place of gratitude here. And when you're ready, we'll gently meet an easy seat. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. We'll begin to sweep our hands overhead high. Place your palms to touch over your head, drawing your thumbs over, third eye, all seeing, all knowing into heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.